It's been a long time since I pulled apart a stepping motor. These are very interesting because uh, they can make very fine movements. This is a uh, 1.8 degree per step stepping motor. And it's a four wire, although it has six pins. And they are used in robotics. This one came out of a, uh, uh, what do you call it? A 3D printer, there we go. And I thought we'd just pull it apart and see if there's anything interesting in there one can salvage. Um, I'm not sure if there's any big changes, if they've put any intelligence in here. See if there's any ferocious magnets. Something fun like that. Nope, not yet. Okay, so this one has four nice machine screws. That's that's not bad. Okay. And a very high precision piece of aluminum casting and milled, no doubt. It's got a spring right here, a uh, thrust bearing spring, thrust spring, uh, a bearing, which I doubt will come off there. It's probably pressed. And let's see, get that back in focus. There we go. And I will push this out of here. You can see before I do that, you can see that there's four wires connected. One, two, three, four. And these other two pins aren't doing anything. No intelligence in here. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. So this is, that is kind of interesting. These uh, magnetic concentrators right here. It's, you have one and then it's separated by green and, and another one. And then you have this lines up with the green one. So this is split into two halves. And this lines up with the green and this lines up with the green here. So these are out of phase, out of step, so that they can make it turn. Um, yeah, so it'll go from here, it'll grab this one and then to here, and then it'll just keep doing that. So my guess is that's how they're getting the finer precision. Now there's a bearing that comes off of there pretty easily. Um, so that's probably worth salvaging. Now let's look at the other end of this. That's a pretty good magnet right there. Um, and there's some coils. Let's see if this will come off over here. Yes, it does. And so we can see the coil. The coil is just one long coil. It comes here and goes all the way down and wraps around. And then they're split into twos. So two wires go to every other set. And then the other two wires go to the other, every other set of those. And so you can energize the coil and these, I got everything stuck together. Uh, these will line up with these. And that's what allows it to step very nice and finely across there. Okay, so what else can we salvage? Well, it looks like the wire would be in two pieces. You'd have one for one set and one for the other. Not sure what I could use that for. The aluminum is recyclable, and this part is obviously magnetic. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. There's nothing intelligent in here, just uh, the coils of wire and stator and the rotor and a couple bearings and some screws. Okay, so uh, yeah, other than the precision, I guess it hasn't changed a whole lot over the years. Well, in any event, I hope you found that useful and interesting in whatever DIY project you're working on.